1971, something happened in Hamilton, Ontario that would forever change the way we saw television. When Vincent Price said yes, and he agreed to be part of... In 1971, a small team of 50-odd people came together in Hamilton, Ontario's CHCH Studios to film what would become the longest-running kids' TV show in Canadian broadcast history. The brainchild of Riff Markowitz and associate producer, cast member Mitch Markowitz, the brothers would go on to create in nine grueling months what should have taken four years to produce. Filmed and edited in an unprecedented manner, the show would go on to become a cult classic with legions of fans spanning the globe. With the star power of Vincent Price and the comedic genius of Billy Van, the team would go on to greatly influence the works of Alice Cooper, Mike Myers, the SCTV team, Jim Carrey, and the creators of Rue Morgue magazine. The story of the hilarious House of Frankenstein has never been fully told until now. It all started when Vincent Price said yes. He walked onto the set, he went over it, and individually went up to each and every guy on the set, the cameramen, the lighting guys, the grips, and shook hands and introduced himself personally. He also took an individual photo with each of the, the guys, so they all had a memory that they could cherish for the rest of their lives. I mean, he was such a warm, wonderful human guy, and he was so down to earth. He was, he was like, standing and talking to your next door neighbor over the backyard fence. But he wasn't your next door neighbor. He was Vincent Price. For kids, there was nothing like that, even close to it, on, on any broadcast television. I'm in a phone answering mood. Hello. <laughs> Thank you, Polly. Choo. Your name is Ed. Is it? Yes. And we tried Billy, and that was just instant. I mean, he, he was just perfect instantly. One of us said, maybe we should have a disc jockey on the show. And we'll do like a takeoff on Wolfman Jack, who was very popular at the time. And we bounced that idea off of Billy, and Billy did one of these. He, he turned around, stayed around for about 30 seconds, turned back to us and said, I am the Wolfman. Like he just morphed into that character instantly and said, I'll play, I'll play the part, man, I'll do it. And he ended up saying, I'll play the part, man, to every, almost every part on that show. E-E-C-H, dig it all, babe. Cyclical, like it's there, it's gone. It's back, let's go. <laughs> oh, you bought a DVD set. I actually own the whole box set. Okay, dokie. The family of misfits that uh, really didn't fit into anywhere. You know, that was my childhood, being able to watch that. That's Vincent Price, of yeah. course. The librarian, Billy yeah. Van. The Count, Billy Van. Yeah. Griselda, Billy yeah. Van. The Oracle, Billy Van. Dr. Pet Vet, Billy Van. Yeah. The Wolfman, Billy Van. And me, 45 years ago. Yeah. Uh, it was like my gateway show. I sort of felt like, wow, it's like somebody spiked my cereal with something. I mean, it's so psychedelic and weird. We were living at the time in a large mansion uh, in Etobicoke. We made arrangements for Fishka and Alan to come out to the house every afternoon, and I was going to run through their lines with them. Kingfish, that's his, his nickname, Fishka's nickname, drove a Volkswagen Beetle. He lived downtown in Toronto, and Alan Hoffman, Guy Big, also lived in downtown Toronto. They agreed to meet each other downtown and ride out together. So when they both got out of the car, as you say, Fishka peeled himself out from behind the driver's side, and Alan had to jump down to the, to the, uh, the driveway out of the car, like his legs couldn't reach that far. I didn't know they mentioned Alan was 31 inches tall. Perfect for our purposes. It's back again. When next we meet in Frankenstone, don't come alone. The hilarious House of Frankenstein has been syndicated across Canada, the US, and abroad since 1971.